Top Spotlight, brought to you by Dragon's Lair Comics and Fantasy. Hey everyone, I'm Adam Harry from Bulls Tabletop News with Drake from Dragon's Lair Comics and Fantasy. And we're back with another Tabletop Spotlight. Drake, this is a big book. It's a beautiful book. Yeah, what is this, man? Uh, this is Blue Rose RPG. It was recently successfully kickstarted, and nice. we, as backers, retail backers, have gotten our copies in and are available for sale. Ah. I do not believe that they are out through main distribution yet, so maybe not Check all of Check with your FLGS. Ones. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um, it uses the uh, adventure gaming engine, same as the Dragon yeah. Age, um, okay. Titan's Grave, I think Fantasy Age as well. Uses yeah, yeah, it. yeah. Very uh, cool. So it's a tested system. So, but wait, what, what's there. the difference here? Because if this is the H system, we, we know those, we're familiar with those, but what's the Blue Rose? What Blue Rose, what made Blue Rose unique and why we were interested in backed it is that uh, it's a fantasy RPG, but it, it's a fantasy romance RPG. So there's still fantasy adventure, you, you delve and go on quests, but there's also a special spotlight like Lent in the way the game is played overall mm. to that kind of romantic... <laughs> uh, endeavor that go that a lot of times people use in their games anyway. This just kind of shines a special light on it as something that's kind of that's special and unique and you, oh, unique okay. way to explore yourself and, the, and this the kind of age setting. role playing game of romantic fantasy is what mm -hmm. I'm seeing here. So yeah. you've done your mythic, you've done your heroic, <laughs> you've, you've done, done epic sci fantasy. Yeah, you've done sword and sorcery. Now this this is not like still gonna have elves top, and stuff, like, but right maybe slightly different twist on. Uh, on that whole adventuring part. <laughs> it's, a more, it's a more serene, it's, it's a romantic okay. escapade. There's All still right. zombies and demons and stuff. Like, <laughs> well, yeah. But on t but the real point... <laughs> All that stuff's still there, but now there's a, there's rules for romance, apparently. So Yeah. Uh, I am... Color me curious on this one. Color me... Do, we, do were so. <laughs> uh, we were very interested. We were very interested. If nothing else, it's a gorgeous new game with yeah. the age system. Yeah. So, so uh, yeah, let's stop stalling and take a look inside. Blue Rose. Okay. Blue Rose time. Let's take a look. Again, this is this is made by Green Ronin. Yeah. Uh, this recently kickstarted fantasy romance adventure. It's pretty looking so far. But yeah. it uses the age system, which we've covered yeah. again. It's it's a it's a tried and true tested system um, for your role playing adventures. So yeah, this Magic is basically just a giant setting book, right? Like. It, has, it does have some unique um, methods. It's a, it's a, uh, it is a, it is a game on its own. Yeah. The as far as action and like skill system is age is something we know, but there are some unique mechanics in here that that made it stand out at Whoa. least to us. The, by the way, this is a this is a pretty pretty intense a half, book. Let's, let's get a quick page count. Oh hey, whoa, we've got you a know. map. How's it come out? Well, that's that's in there. We're not gonna pull it out. Oh, but okay. It's, it's got the map, including index. It's three hundred and eighty four pages. No so that is, joke. That is pretty, pretty And it's got a map of the, of the land too, which is cool. Wow, look at that. It is a... Adversary. Most it's laid out like a, like a PHP slash DMG all in one, huh? Yeah, this is, a, this is a whole book. Like, this is all you need for everybody. Nice. It, is, it does seem very robust. Let's take a look at the contents. So yeah, we have a double page chapters of five, six, and seven, our setting, the back, uh, this is the, kind of the GM. Yeah, is the, the narrator, if you will. Then, like, in the player section is your building, actual gameplay, yeah. character creation, which this obviously is going to emphasize a great deal more on the out of combat. Yeah, thing because it, this is very kind of purist RP. Mm -hmm. So if you're looking for a game that's a little, uh, that's more uh, into the role playing aspect and not necessarily into the combat aspect, if you're looking for a setting that really is going to support mm -hmm. that. Um, then that's kind of what um, Blue Rose is all about. Right. And so, but because it's age, it'll use the stunt system, it'll mm -hmm. use those same dice. Um, character creation is pretty standard. It doesn't... You don't have necessarily elves per se, but it, it's still humans, night people, right in, sea folk, and vata. Yeah. Those are the different races. Which is that are fairly unique. I don't see a lot. This. Yeah. I'm sure those are just. Humanoids of regular, yeah, of our standard fantasy races, but right, right, it, it is it is a unique in setting thing. It has the three class system that we, that yeah. is pretty standard of age. It calls them adept, expert, and warrior, which I imagine are some sort of spellcaster, rogue, and then your warrior. Right on. Um, Weapons and armor. Equipment list. 
I'm just blown away actually by the amount of kind of like the world section here. Um, that's like 200, almost 100 and, yeah. 140 pages of background about the yeah. world. Chapter five is just history. Yeah. Based on like the reigns of different like regions. Kings, well, yeah. There's a full- Kings and queens, monarchs. Yeah, the current royal court, cultures, more culture. Yeah. <laughs> different kinds of threats. City, valleys, the weald, which is basically just the forest. Coast. It's very geographical. I like how much depth is here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's certainly not the whole book, but there is a good, full, hearty chapter on the main region of Aldis, which is where most most takes place. And then another whole chapter that's about as long again. Yeah. Yeah, about as long again of what else is out there. Like, wow. Yeah, you basically have like 60-ish pages. Yeah, just 50, 60 pages of, of just the Kingdom of the Blue Rose, and then another 60-ish pages uh, for the lands beyond the kingdom. So yeah, as far, in terms of world building, um, if you can't find where to play your game at in, in the 150 pages roughly of, of background, uh, you're not trying. So let's go ahead and flip over and take a look at uh, some of the uh, core systems here. Here's a different peoples. Um, we're not going to flip through every page, but just player section again. Mm -hmm. um, basics. We're going to skip ahead. See if here. we can't find a good art spread. Yeah, battle maps. You, there, there is fighting in this game, by the way. If you, yeah, if you were if, worried about if the best cheery at the end that we that we glimpsed was was not sufficient. Yeah, but again, there is a great deal in the. Oh. Stun, is this again stunts. more about the age system in general? Um, so if you've played any of the age yeah. games previously, that's that's not going to be super different. Um, Starts with the concept. I love it. Yep. So start there and then get here. Pick your different races. And again, you can see the art style here. It's nice. And by the way, these pages, just to, just a note about the quality here, good stuff. This is not like cheap paper. Yeah, these will stand up. Yeah, this is, this is going to last for a long time. Night people, I guess that's the equivalent of orcs. Half to orcs or something. Half orcs, yeah. yeah. If you're playing fifth edition or something like that. Is that a cat? I, Those are animals. What? Raiden. They're sentient animals. Oh man. Oh, so we sentient. have rye bears, rye cats, rye fen, rye horses. Or There's rye, just dolphins. Rye wolves. I guess if you wanted to play uh, kind of a were person. Not uh, even were, like you're a just y. a cat. Okay. Hey. With magic powers. Why not, man? Seafolk, not surprised. Yep. That's pretty much what it is. Vata. Kind of a... They remind me of Deva. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. And then there's a kind of a more of a breakdown for your backgrounds and stuff like that too. Classes, gang levels and stuff like that. Um, there's the warrior, which is pretty sweet. Yeah, that looks good. Um, and then I guess we had the adept and the um, uh, expert back here too. But you, you have your different classes and powers and things like that, so. And there's your experts. Your your bard robe, what have you. Monks. No, if you're, yeah, again, if you're playing D&D-ish <laughs> references here. Uh, other equipment, where uh, what should we go to next, man? I feel like there's there's so much of the world to explore. Let's see if we can get a glimpse for the spells, see how those work, and then get into the nitty gritty about what makes this unique in that There's some setting. arcana. So different types of spells. This is a typical kind of a cure. Uh, and again, because it uses the age system, it's different stat wise there. So type of talent requires time is a major action. Uh, I think your number modifiers, you're shooting for an 11 there. Test intelligence, healing or willpower, meditative, um, yeah, meditative. So yeah, body control. And I do like, I do like out of age, how, how broad their spell list is. Mm -hmm. Like it's very like you can move Earth, and that's very like with this one Earth shaping a talent. Mm -hmm. Like that's that's the ability is Earth shaping. It gives you this very broad. It's your target numbers what you're shooting for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you can scale that up. It's like you know you can move do basic like soft stuff, and then you can just rock it with an earthquake and. Yeah. But it's the same kind of ability. Yeah, same with fire it's just shaping. Harder to do. So I I like. I like how broad it is. Like you are skilled with fire and you can do with 
you can do that with whatever makes sense out of that. Yeah, it definitely, I think uh, it feeds into the narrative more when you yeah. have like, I have the ability to do earth shaping or fire shaping. Um, <clears throat> it's not just casting a fireball, it's manipulating a ball of fire yeah, and, in ways. And it, again, it opens up that narrative yeah. part. And this part goes back into the ages stunt system and kind right. of reinforces that storytelling aspect of it. Um, but that's kind of how the, the spells work. Um, let's go, and again, tons of cool artwork. This is a dense book. There's lots of rules to cover. Check that Ooh. out. Whoa. The world. This whole section is just going to talk about, again, that massive chunk of the book that's just talking about the world. Dang, creation myth. Hey, got to have one of those, man. Yeah. Every good gameplay story has one of those, right? Because that feeds into the rest of the yeah, setting. Yeah, like sets the precedent. Yeah. Oh, shadow. Got wall. some zombos. Zombos. See, you mentioned it. You're going to have zombies. It's still there. Um, again, history, there's history, history and there's been wars and things like that. Dramatis personae. Right. Uh, skipping ahead, here's the Kingdom of the Blue Rose. Just a quick glimpse at that. More characters. Right. NPCs that you may, might run into or types of NPCs you can run into. <laughs> or romance. Romance. Oh, bromance too. I don't know. Uh, probably. Almost assuredly, I yeah. would imagine. Yep. See? We're going to talk about it. Sexuality, marriage. Like This is a system that's actually built for the romantic stories you want to tell on top of the combats and things like that. So, um, yeah. Wow, it just keeps going. Different types of religions, uh, skipping ahead. Which I'm, I'm- Still in the section of the Kingdom of Blue Rose, by the way. Yeah, this, <laughs> yeah still all this. Haven't, haven't gotten outside yet. Yeah. Different cities, different towns, and what makes them unique. Yeah. It gets garnet. Different types of uh, architecture you can see. It really, really well done. Yeah, see, there's a romance. And there's a sentient magic dolphin. Yeah. There's a sentient magic dolphin hugging somebody. Hey man, dolphins just need love too, I guess. Especially shy Mer fen or whatever. Merfolk. Shy den? Ry Ry fen. Ry fen. <laughs> I know things. I can't believe it. And then pirates. Yeah, because I mean, what dolphin game wouldn't have pirates in it? Seems appropriate. It's not a dolphin game. <laughs> well, I mean, it's, they're on the coast, so what coastline That's wouldn't cool. have pirates attacks? There's a nice big map of the world. You can kind of get an idea of uh, the different regions and what to kind of mm -hmm. expect, expect with the layout of yeah. the, the and, terrain and things like that. And we'll note, this is clearly not the entire oh, no. world that this is oh, on. No. This is what's supported here. But let's say, hypothetically, you you head out of Basketh Bay and you just keep going south. There, that That's is still- the Pirate Isles. Yeah, the Pirate Isles, but then Southwards even of that. There's still, there is room here. Yeah. For, a, for, a, for a DM who wants to do something unique with this world, there is yeah. still geography that is that is new. There could be a whole other continent. But there is a great deal that is that is here and available. For sure. Which I, I think is a nice little sweet spot when something is so setting heavy as this. There is still room to to make it your own. Whoa. Despite it being very fleshed out and clearly Nuggets very... It's a purity. Technology. Different factions you're going to run into in the, uh, the lands beyond, apparently. Um, denizens. Of that's almost most Esli. Like that it almost, is. it's almost like, well, it's like it was pulled Inca from a sci-fi game. My Mayan, Mayan temple there. I don't know, but yeah, it's just gonna keep going. I'm gonna skip around some more too. Um, if you uh, the Blue Rose series here, check that out. If you want, if you kind of want to run, um, kind of if, as you're planning out your sessions as the the game master, the narrator. Um, yeah. It's got so some this tips. Is the overall campaign and what kind of what yeah. kind of tone you want to take with it. And do you want to do a dark fantasy, a high fantasy game, uh, a horror genre game, a low fantasy game, or swashbuckling, higher romance, some, yeah. uh, an option that is you kind of unique to this. Yeah, for sure. To this book, I have not seen that presented in in other DMGs and the like. I have I have not either. I mean, not especially if you're looking at like a typical RPG is. is they're gonna leave that section up yeah. to the like. Obviously, the that happens, but that's rarely. Yeah. And the, the focus. The, yeah, the closest it ever comes in the book is talking about like interactions with N with NPCs in general, and you're mm -hmm. standing with them. But it never gets into like that something with that aim. Yeah. And maybe that's just a, like a shift in tone. Maybe it's because of the place RPGs have held for so long. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But but you go through there. That's kind of the series of how you're gonna do it, plotting the arc, how to do that all up. Uh, it's gonna give you some ideas for kind of how to frame your story, and then uh, how to how to kick it all off, and then going along here too. Uh, these are tips for the game master of how to actually run the game. It's gonna get into a little bit more of the rules, um, and basically, yeah, just good tips overall, right? To just to 
go through the game. Mm -hmm. Running this system. Yeah. We've seen a lot of that before in kind of a, an age, um, in some of the other age books too. Which, but, but even so, I I think that's, that is something worth pointing out that is, I think is definitely a boom to the age system in general, mm -hmm. is that it all it is all self-contained. Each age book, it, it, go, it separately goes over the system, talks about it. Right. It never throws you back to a like baseline book that you also need. Right, it's, this is self-contained, meaning you can buy just this book and play the Blue Rose Age campaign, however you want to do it, from everything here. You don't need a core age system book to, right. to know how to and play. Same thing is said for the Fantasy Age, for Titan's Grave, for Dragon Age. Right. They're all they're they're all self-contained, even though they use a similar a shared system. Yeah. And again, just skipping around to it, it did. We showed off a little bit the picture of the rewards you can you can earn. Um, just give you some idea for arcane items. We're also going to look at the adversaries here. Got all those. So again, there is fighting involved. It's not just all about romancing, the, romancing the, the queen or whatever. But you've definitely got some some baddies to deal with. It's a pretty good section too. And I think this Shadows of Tanglewood is going to be. It is an introductory pregen, I believe. Yes, the Shadow Ring. So there you go. Yeah. If you want to know how to run the it adventure, is an adventure to kind of to crash course for the DM and some player sheets. Yep. And then of course your index. I really like this book. Just. Again, the quality overall is top notch. Um, the cool part about it, I think, aside from the fact that it's it's focusing, uh, it's got a heavy focus so on, on the romance system, is this adventure. Um, adventure modules themselves usually run like 30, 40 bucks uh, just for one adventure module, somewhere in that price range. But this is an entire book with an adventure in it. I mean, come on, just start playing, Drake. Just, just, just go. Just, just take this home today. Just take it home and just play. <laughs> oh. Maybe not today, but we're definitely excited to have it. I, I, yeah, our owner especially, she was very like, ooh, <laughs> insisted that we back it. Well, there you and go. And I think that I think we made a good call. The age role playing game, very of romantic excited fantasy. For this. Yes, go check it out. Uh, we'll top out for a really quick recap. Well, that was Blue Rose, the age role playing game system with romantic fantasy built in there. So, yeah, uh, yeah, it's. Uh, very unique. Yeah. Very unique. Game. I was. I'm. I'm. Gl I'm happy to have it. Yeah. To be perfectly honest, I think this. This is something that hasn't really been done, at least not to this extent with this kind of level of deliberation. Right. So I'm. I'm happy to have it at the store. I think it's a, a good thing to offer. I yeah, think yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm impressed with the quality overall. Again, yeah, this was a Kickstarter. Better. Yeah, and, and the quality is very just successfully notch. funded. So yeah. if nothing else, you know, the interest is there. Yeah, for sure. Uh, people, at least some people are looking for a game like this. For sure. And I think that it. I think it's that it's a, it's very well done. Yeah. It's beautifully illustrated. I yeah. love... Yeah, the art inside was just top notch, there's... so... Yeah. Mm. Well, let's crunch the numbers on it real quick. Right, please. Uh, what is the price point on the uh, Blue Rose here? MSRP is set at forty nine ninety five. dollars Okay. Uh, however, obviously, retailer backers got it for whatever they... Whatever yeah. level they pledge. So we at Dragon Slayer have it on sale for thirty nine ninety nine. Cool. A little bit off from the original run. Once it comes out regular distribution, it'll we'll have to set it at that regular MSRP. But right on. the limited a Kickstarter edition <laughs> is a little bit cheaper for you guys. Yeah. So go check it out. Again, check in with your uh, your, your favorite local gaming store to see if they have any copies in stock. Uh, they would have had to have backed the Kickstarter to get it early, but it is eventually going to come out through uh, regular distribution means. But yeah. that's kind of why we do these tabletop yeah, spots. It's published so. by Green Ronin. Oh, yeah. It's a so. similar, like, it's, it's oh, a familiar yeah. company. This is just that initial stage of getting it off the ground. Right on. Well, go check it out. I'm Adam Harry from Bella Souls. And I'm Drake with Dragons Are Comics and Fantasy. And this has been another Tabletop Spotlight. Thanks again for watching. Tabletop Spotlight brought to you by Dragons Are Comics and Fantasy. Thanks for watching.